today the bookworms are going to be reading Alice in Wonderland, retold by Lauren Horsley and illustrated by Barbara Bongini. One hot day, Alice wanted to play with her sister. It's too hot, said her sister. Alice began to feel very, very sleepy. Suddenly, a white rabbit ran by. Oh no! said the white rabbit. I'm late. Then he disappeared down a rabbit hole. Alice jumped down the hole after him. She could feel herself falling down, down, down. At last, she came to a stop. That was very odd, she said. Alice could see doors all around her, but they were locked. She saw a table with a key on it. Then Alice saw a little door. The key fitted the door, but Alice was too big to go through it. Alice looked at the table again. This time, there was a bottle on it that said, "Drink me." Alice took a drink. Oh my! She said, "I feel very strange." Alice was getting smaller and smaller. Soon, Alice was so small she could fit through the little door, but she had left the key on the table. Then Alice saw a little cake with "Eat me" on it. She ate it, and this time Alice got bigger and bigger. Alice could now get the key from the table, but she was too big to fit through the door. Suddenly, the white rabbit came along. Can you help me? Alice asked. But when he saw her, he ran off. I do feel very odd, she said. Alice was getting smaller and smaller again. She began to cry, and soon she was up to her head in tears. Then Alice saw some animals. How very odd, she said, as she got out of the tears. Alice looked up and saw a caterpillar on a mushroom. She asked the caterpillar if he could make her big again. One side will make you bigger," said the caterpillar, "and the other side will make you smaller." One side of what? asked Alice. The mushroom," said the caterpillar, and off he went. Alice ate some of the mushroom. Then she took some more of the mushroom and went on her way. Next, Alice saw a house. She went inside. In the house was a duchess with a baby and a cat. The cat smiled at Alice. Suddenly, the duchess jumped up. "Here," she said to Alice, "you have the baby. I'm off to play croquet with the queen." Alice looked at the baby, but it wasn't a baby now. It was a pig. It jumped down and ran away. Alice found the cat up a tree. Are you going to play croquet with the queen? He asked Alice. I don't know, she said. I am, smiled the cat. He disappeared but left a smile behind. It was very strange. Next, Alice found a Mad Hatter and his friends. They were drinking tea and eating cake. Alice had some tea with them. Then Alice saw a tree with a door in it. When she went through it, she was back by the table with the key to the little door. This time, I know what to do," said Alice. She began to eat some of the mushroom and got smaller and smaller. At last, she could fit through the little door. On the other side of the door were some playing cards. They were painting some white roses red. Why are you painting the roses red?" asked Alice. "The Queen of Hearts wants all roses to be red." They said. Just then, the Queen of Hearts came by with the Duchess and the White Rabbit. The Queen looked at the white roses and then at the playing cards. Off with their heads! She ordered. And then it's time to play croquet. It was a very odd game of croquet. When it was over, only the Queen and Alice were left. Now for the trial, said the Queen. On trial was the Knave of Hearts. The queen said he had stolen her tarts. Off with his head! She ordered. You can't do that," said Alice. "I can," said the queen. And off with your head too. No," said Alice. "No, no, no!" Wake up! Wake up, Alice! Suddenly, 
Alice found herself back with her sister. Oh my! She said, "I have just had the strangest dream." How much do you remember about the story of Alice in Wonderland? Answer these questions and find out. One: Who does Alice follow down the rabbit hole? Two: What does it say on the bottle that Alice finds? Three: Who is sitting on a mushroom? Four: What does the Duchess's baby turn into? Who is having a tea party? Who does Alice play croquet with? Unjumble these words to make words from the story, then match them to the correct pictures. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time, bye.